Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be going over the isolated ghost trail effects seen in Central C's Doja music video. Now before we get started I just have to let you know that I have to have my little puppy in here, Roto. Yes, short for rotoscope because he was crying. <laughs> So with that, let's get into it. So first thing you're going to do is shoot your subject on a green screen. Now in the music video, the subject's looking head onto the camera, making motions like this, but try not to let the subject's hands or arms obstruct the face. Also, you don't even need a green screen for this effect if nothing in your background is moving at all, and if your camera is locked off on a tripod. So I shot this with a green screen so we could also add some background elements, kind of like the music video. And also with green screen, unless you're going to replace the entire background with completely new elements then you're going to want to take a clean plate so I got a clean plate of the office and locked off the focus shot it with a green screen as well we we're good to go now open up your footage in After Effects and key out the green screen now this isn't a green screen tutorial but if you want to learn more about masking rotoscoping keying out a green screen I do have a class on Skillshare that covers that now scrub to where you want the effect to start and for me it's when my subjects arm is moving up into frame and then we're going to duplicate the clip and then create a mask. You're going to want to make sure that you delete the mask you made around the green screen if you made a mask around the green screen and leave that new mask mode set to add. And if you'd like, you can boost the mask feather to smooth out the edges of your mask. Now, if you hit T on the keyboard, that will bring up the opacity and on that duplicate layer, you're going to want to lower that opacity to about 30%. Now you're going to duplicate the duplicate a couple times and then you're going to stagger each one from the next about one frame apart. And now once you've completed that for one arm, you can repeat the process for the other arm. Then you're going to trim up and delete the duplicates when you want that effect to stop. When the effect stops, if you feel like it's too jarring and it just all of a sudden goes from a trail to no trail at all, then you can keyframe the opacity on the duplicate layer so you really have a smooth fall off of that ghost trail. All right, so now that we have our ghost trail, we're going to create a background using shapes and solids and adding a glow. So we're going to create a circle shape. So with no layer selected, go ahead and grab the ellipse tool and then you'll see stroke and fill pop up on the very top and I turned off my stroke and turned on my fill and chose the appropriate color and then dragged what looks like a perfect circle. I then grabbed the anchor point tool and then held down command and double click the anchor point tool and then that centered the anchor point on that circle. So now we can go to the align tab and perfectly align that circle in the center of the frame. Now make sure you drag that shape layer underneath all of the subject layers. Now duplicate that circle, scale it up just a little bit, and then change the fill color to a dark blue and make sure that that dark blue circle is placed under the original circle. Now we're going to create a new solid, so go to layer, new, solid, and then color match the color of that solid to that main circle. Now we're going to grab that square mask and create a rectangular mask going down and then boost the mask feather. Now you can add some points if you want to try and customize the roll off of this light. Now you can just keep duplicating and repositioning these square masks so that it looks like we have lights going along the wall behind me. Now you can add your glow, maybe even keyframe a glow intensity on the circle behind me, and then that's it. That's how you do the isolated ghost trail effect seen in Central C's Doja music video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something and enjoyed meeting Roto. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.